And the Adelaide Football Club has been dragged into the Malthouse saga with explosive claims by the sack coach that the Crows had Eddie Betts stitched up 18 months before he left the Blues. Tom Wren's at the club and Tom, the Crows have moved quickly to deny the claims. Yeah, not surprising, Brenton. They've moved very quickly. A statement coming out just a short time ago which says that they deny any wrongdoing in the Eddie Betts signing and that they had no inappropriate dealings in order to get Eddie Betts to this football club. They go on to say that they are extremely disappointed by the comments that were made by Mick Malthouse. Now, they came out early this morning, as we heard on SEN Radio in Melbourne, where he alleges that Eddie Betts was stitched up by the Crows whilst he was still playing for the Blues. Let's first have a listen to those comments and then the response by Carlton CEO Stephen Trigg, who was, of course, the CEO at Adelaide when this deal was done. Betts, Betts is the most classical one because he's a, he's a goal kicker. But, you know, Stephen assured us, Stephen Trigg assured us when he arrived, you don't, don't take it too personally. He said, uh, we, being Adelaide, had him stitched up 18 months out. And what Adelaide did from 12 months out in terms of benchmarking bets against every small forward in the competition to arrive at a valuation and a, and a, a decision on him. That is a very, very far cry from having an agreement. Plenty of people around the list management table who would corroborate that. And I'm just hoping it was a slip uh, because that's, that's the fact and I would welcome any question from the AFL. Well, Brenton, I can tell you the AFL will do some investigating and the Crows are very confident that nothing will come of it. They have denied absolutely any wrongdoing here, but certainly an explosive story and one that will continue to follow. Brenton? Indeed. Thanks, Rennie.